coming over to visit Buster today. <laughs> Bandit is so excited. I wonder why. Wow, what a cool dinosaur, Buster. And Bandit has one too. <laughs> They're off to play at the park. <laughs> They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. <laughs> but wait, what's that? Could it be a dinosaur? <gasps> Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! <gasps> How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! <gasps> Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous! Come on, Bandit! You can do it! Bandit is facing his fears! Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here! Uh-oh! Or maybe it can! Look! They can hide behind that tree! Quick, Bandit! Wait a second! An egg? Oh! The T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all! It was looking for its egg! Oh no! It's heading towards that cliff! Quick, Buster! Phew! <laughs> the egg is safe now. The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster. <laughs> what a fun game. And it wasn't really a dinosaur. It was just Diggly, and he was looking for his ball. <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Bandit has some marshmallows. <gasps> Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! <gasps> Uh-oh, it's blowing away! Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. <gasps> Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! Phew, he's okay. Time to finally put the tent up. Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster. Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. Wow, they're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, delicious. What a brilliant day. Buster has arrived early for school today. 
there's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout flipped too. Phew! Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters, <laughs> then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. <laughs> Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well. Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. Hey there, Buster. Oh wow, look at that. You're in the Wild West. <laughs> And check out your cowboy hat. That must be the sheriff with his shiny gold star. Oh, look! A lasso! Great work, Buster. Now you're a proper cowboy. There's Terry. Tip your hat, cowboy, and say hello. I don't think Terry looks too impressed. Wait. It's Bandit Bus. And what's that on his back? A sack. I think he's robbed the sweet shop. What a villain he is. You must stop him, Buster. <laughs> Quick, Buster. He's getting away. Chase after him. Wake up, Sheriff. There's a robber on the loose. They're speeding alongside the train tracks. Faster, Buster. You can't let Bandit escape. Wow, Bandit jumped in front of Suki the train. Wait for the train to pass and... Where did he go? Oh no, he's going the other way. That was sneaky. After him, Buster. Bandit is trying to lose Buster in the cactus field. Careful, Buster. Those are really spiky. You've almost caught him. Look out! Are you okay, Buster? Oh no, the cactus has punctured your tire. Oh no, you'll never catch him with a flat tire. Wait. Huh? Of course! The lasso! Rope him up, Buster. One, two, three, go! Great! You did it! You caught Bandit! And here's Sheriff Otis. I'm sure he's really grateful. There. Bandit is in the jailhouse where he belongs. Oh, wow! Sheriff Buster. What an exciting dream that was! Happy trip around. And hear the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. There's Buster the bus. Looks like he's driving through the enchanted forest. But wait, what's this by the road? I think it's a spell book. Wow, Buster can use that to do magic. Look, it's Scout, Terry, and Jesse in the town square. I think Buster's going to try casting some spells. Let's see now. Whoa! A wizard's hat! Buster really is doing magic! I wonder what spell Buster can use to help Terry. Abracadabra! Wow! Buster made the plants grow! Nice work, wizard Buster! What other spells are in the spell book? The bee spell? Oh, look! Buster turned Scout into a bee! She's having so much fun flying around! 
I think Jessie wants to fly too. <laughs> what spells are there for that? Bubbles? <laughs> cool! Jessie's floating around in her own bubble. Nice work, Wizard Buster! Oh, look, he's very sleepy. Time for a nap, Buster. Uh oh, I think something's gone wrong. The magic is out of control. Quick, Buster, you've got to put everything back to normal. Hurry, Buster. Phew, all the spells are canceled. But I don't think Buster's friends are very happy with him. Buster's putting the spell book back where he found it. And that's the end of the fairy tale of Buster the Wizard. What a bright, sunny day it is. Oh, look, it's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. <laughs> what are they both up to? Look, there's Buster and Scout. Phew, what a hot day. I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa, Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. Ooh, a water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. <laughs> what are Buster and Scout planning? Oh, look, Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash! Uh-oh, Scout has been hit. <laughs> And bullseye! Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? It's Scout. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quit, Buster! Oh no! CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered! What are they going to do? Aha! An umbrella! I think Buster's got a plan! CJ and Diggly take aim, but Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella! Great idea, Buster! Uh oh! Diggly and CJ are filling up again! Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow! Nice shot, Buster! <laughs> that was so much fun! Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow! The sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah! It's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops! Watch out, Iggy! <laughs> Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark! <gasps> hmm. hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah! It's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops! Not again! Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and Mommy Bus to the rescue. Splat! <laughs> yum, yum! Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. 
Well done, Buster! He can't wait to show the tooth to his friends! Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink. What else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire! Thanks, Daddy Bus! Don't forget Ash's present! Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday! What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived! Time to play some party games together! Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows! Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set! That's very thoughtful, Buster! It's given Ash an idea! He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout! I wonder what they're going to paint! Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster! The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. <laughs> it's Halloween! Ash and Scout are at Buster's house, ready to go trick-or-treating. Whoa! That zombie costume looks amazing! Bandit is not impressed. Boo! Nope, Bandit doesn't want to join in. He thinks dressing up is for babies. Buster, Scout, and Ash head off on their trick-or-treating adventure. Hang on! Bandit would really like some Halloween sweets! <gasps> Looks like he's got an idea! <gasps> Bandit has copied Buster's costume! They look exactly the same! He's arrived at Terry's farm, looking like Buster! Trick-or-treat? Wow! Look at all those sweeties! Oh look! Buster, Ash, and Scout have arrived! Some sweeties for Scout? Some sweeties for Ash? Hang on! Nope! Terry thinks he's already given Buster lots of sweets! But it was actually Naughty Bandit! Poor Buster! Ash and Scout like how they look in their reflections! What is that? A sweet wrapper? And another? It's Bandit eating all the sweets! Buster has a plan! Ash and Scout are pretending to think that Bandit is Buster! 
Bandit is looking at himself in the reflection. Wait a second. Now there are two bandits. Bandit is a bit confused. And a bit scared. Where have the others gone? Boo! Buster's plan worked. Bandit has been caught in the act. And here's Terry with more sweets. He's confused by the two zombies. He's given them to Bandit again. But Bandit is sharing it with Buster. <laughs> what a funny mix-up. Happy Halloween! It's a very blustery day on the farm. Look, I think Terry has something he wants to show Buster. Hey, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. He's an old friend of Terry's. Say hello, Buster. <laughs> It must be so much fun to be able to float through the air like a balloon. But, uh-oh, the wind is picking up. I hope Monty doesn't blow away. Oh no, the rope snapped, and now the wind is blowing Monty away. Quick, Buster, you've got to chase after him, or who knows where he'll be blown off to. Monty is so high up, how will you get him down? Look, a rope. I wonder what Buster has in mind. Hurry up, guys. You've got to get ahead of Monty. What's Buster going to do? Oh, of course, a lasso. Rope him up, cowboy. Ah, so close. But Monty is still floating away. There has to be some way to rescue Monty. <gasps> What's Buster seen now? It's Iggy the ice cream truck with lots of balloons. I think I know Buster's plan. Look, Buster's tied all the balloons to himself and now he's floating into the sky. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Grab hold of Monty. Almost. Almost, almost. You've got him. Well done, Buster. You saved the day. Monty looks very grateful. Ah, <laughs> uh, Monty's tied up safely again now. He's not going to float away like that balloon. Nice work, Buster. <laughs> Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores. Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh, look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go. Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops. I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh look, it's Mommy Bus. 
Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster's giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. <laughs> he does need the it's a bright new morning. <gasps> and Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. <laughs> oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait, I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. Oh. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. And the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. But what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. Diggly's opening his present and... Whoa, it's a pinata. It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes. One more. Smack. Look at all those sweets. An amazing birthday present. It's Buster, our favorite yellow bus. But wait, you don't look as bright and yellow as usual. Oh, Buster, I think you need a new coat of paint. You're looking a little scruffy. Great idea. A trip to the paint shop will do the trick. He looks like one happy customer. Buster can't wait to get a fresh new coat of yellow paint. He's going to look good as new. Oh my, what was that? That made you jump, didn't it, Buster? Oh no, Buster's mixed up the paint cans. I don't think he's realized. Is that gonna be the right color? Here goes, Buster. A fresh new coat of yellow. Oh no, that's not yellow. Buster has been sprayed red, and I don't think he's noticed. Scout looks a little shocked. Take a look at yourself, Buster. You're a red bus. Quickly, back to the paint shop. Oh dear, you've knocked over all the paint. How will you be able to tell which color is which? Here goes. Oh no, that's not quite right. Buster is now blue. Jesse seems very surprised. Yes, it's because of how blue you are, Buster. Off he goes to try again. Maybe this time you'll come out yellow. Hmm, still not yellow. Now Buster is green. Look at how confused Tony is. He's never seen a green Buster the bus before. Fourth time lucky. Close your eyes and wish for yellow, Buster. Oh no! Buster has now been sprayed pink. Jesse and Scout still don't seem to recognize you, Buster. Wait, Buster, I'm not sure that's the answer. <laughs> Buster the rainbow-colored bus. I'm not sure if Robin approves. You're a rainbow, Buster. Which paint can to choose from? One of these must be yellow. The moment of truth. Phew, there we go. That's the Buster the bus we all know. With a bright new shiny coat of yellow paint. Well done, Buster. That was quite a colorful adventure. Hey there, Buster. Whoa, look at all the spooky Halloween decorations. Spiders, jack-o'-lanterns, creepy. Uh-oh, what's that? It's so big and dark. Oh, I think Buster is really scared. Don't be frightened, Buster. It's just your shadow. See? It's just the lighting shining past you. Pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm, I think this is the right way to go home. Let's go, Buster. Oh no, the lightning struck the street lamp. Now all the lights are going out. Poor Buster, I think he's scared of the dark. 
But wait, what's that? The full moon's come out. That'll light up the whole town like a big lantern. Come on, Buster, off we go. Oh dear me, clouds are moving over the moon again. And now there's a lightning storm coming. Oh no, Buster is scared of the storm too. Come on, Buster, you can be brave. It's just thunder and lightning. That's right, it's not scary, it's spectacular. Nice one, Buster. You were brave and faced your fears. Look, it's Tony the truck. He looks even more frightened by the storm than Buster. Good job, Buster. Go and help Tony. Make him feel safe. There's no need to be afraid. See, the storm is over and the moon is back. And that's just your shadow. Happy Halloween, Buster and Tony. <laughs> it's Halloween, and Buster is at Daddy's house. <laughs> oh, but Halloween can be scary. <laughs> Daddy Bus has an idea. He's going to tell a Halloween story. Daddy is going to tell a story of the brave wizard's adventure to find the magic gems and save Halloween. Buster the brave wizard went on an adventure. He had to find all the magic gems. There must be gems in that castle. They're guarded by a monster. <laughs> This wizard must be very brave, Dad. <sighs> the wizard was the bravest of all, Buster! <laughs> ah. <laughs> the hero presses on through the dark woods towards the castle. <laughs> Something stirs in the darkness up ahead in the forest. What is it, Dad? A werewolf? <gasps> A ghost? A were-ghost! <laughs> The mysterious shadow grows larger. Is it the monster? He found a jewel. Well done. Finally, the wizard reached the mysterious castle. There must be more gems inside, but how to get there? He needs to lower the drawbridge, but how? The wizard could use his magic! <laughs> Good idea! The brave adventurer pushed forward inside the castle walls. Onward, into the castle! How brave the wizard is! What will our hero do? Run or continue? Continue, continue! Ooh. The wizard has to find the treasure and save Halloween! <laughs> but what's that behind them? It's the monster! If the wizard wants to get those magic jewels, he'll need to get past it. Wait, Daddy. The monster must be really lonely. Oh, I suppose so, yes. The monster is lonely. Maybe the wizard should help the monster. He needs a friend. And so the brave wizard rolled up and used his magic to make the castle all warm and bright. <laughs> the monster is you, Dad. <laughs> the monster was so grateful he gave the wizard all the magic jewels. So brave Buster <laughs> saved Halloween for everyone. It's Buster the bus. Look, he's seen a cute little Easter bunny. Whoa! Buster has turned into a bunny bus. He's going to dance the bunny dance for us. Hop, hop, hop. Then wiggle your tail. Great! <laughs> then jump up as high as you can, just like a bunny rabbit. Then wiggle your nose. There, you've got it! <laughs> that was so much fun. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hop, hop, hop. You're doing great! Wiggle, 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 hop, hop, hop. Spin in a circle and wiggle your nose. Yay! Hey, it's Scout the car. I think she wants to learn the bunny dance too. Are you ready? 
Hop, hop, hop. Then wiggle your tail. Yes. Then jump up as high as you can. Reach up high. Then wiggle your nose. That's it. Scout's got it. Now watch this. Wiggle to the left. Wiggle to the right. Wiggle as much as you can. Hey, this is fun. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hop, hop, hop. That's right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, it was just Buster's dream. But never mind. We still learned a really cool new dance. Wow, Buster. Look at that red balloon. Why don't you try and catch it? <laughs> nice try, Buster. But it's floating away. Aw, Buster looks sad. Oh, hey, little Robin. You might be able to catch the runaway red balloon. There we go. Thanks, Robin. That's a nice looking balloon, Buster. Oh, wow, there's another balloon. This one is green. Quick, Robin, catch it. There we go. Now you have two balloons, Buster. Gosh, look at all those colorful balloons. You know what to do, Robin. <laughs> Buster! The balloons are lifting you off the ground. Robin has lost Buster. He's up there, Robin. Buster's flying. It's okay, Buster. Don't be scared. Look at the view from up here. <laughs> Terry can't work out where that horn is coming from. Look up there, Terry. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Buster the bus. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Oh, Buster, you're floating quite high now. Terry looks so small down there on the ground. I think Buster is starting to get scared. You don't want to end up in space, Buster. Robin, you've got to help. Great idea. If you pop the balloons, Buster will hopefully float down. Oh no, Buster's falling really quickly. It's okay, Buster, you've nearly reached the ground. I think a few more balloons will do it, Robin. And touchdown. Buster is pleased to be back on the ground. I think we should leave the flying to Robin, Buster. Oh, where's Robin going? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> another balloon? I think Buster has had enough of balloons for one day. Bye, Buster. <laughs> Bye, Robin. It's the end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. <laughs> now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? <laughs> Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster. That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! 
Here comes Buster the bus. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to get up to today. What's this? Look at that billboard, Buster. Those tires look so shiny and new. Maybe it's time for you to get some new tires, Buster. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh, look. It's Jessie the Jeep. She seems to be struggling up the hill. Here comes Buster. Poor Jessie. I think she needs some help, Buster. Her tires don't seem to be gripping the road. You're nearly there, Jessie. Keep trying. Oh, Buster, I know you want to get those tires, but your friend Jessie needs some help. Oh, no! Jessie is slipping back down. Aw, oh, well done, Buster! You came back to help Jessie. That was very kind of you. Oh, no! It looks like something is wrong with Jessie's trailer. It looks like the weight of the trailer is pushing her down the hill too fast. She's lost control, Buster. Quickly, Buster, you have to help her. It'll be okay, Jessie. Buster isn't far behind. Good job, Buster. Keep in control of the trailer so it doesn't tip over. Oh, no. The garage is up ahead. She won't be able to slow down in time. Great idea, Buster. Use your brakes to slow down, Jessie. That was a close one. Well done, Buster. And look, it's the shiny new tires you came Yay! for. Oh, poor Jessie. Her tires look sore. Buster, I think there's someone who needs them more than you. That's right, Buster. Well done. <laughs> Jessie really needs some new tires. They look great, Jessie. You'll have no trouble pulling your trailer now. And driving up hills will be easy. <laughs> Bye, Buster. Bye, Jessie. It's fall. And Buster the Bus and his friends are outside playing. <laughs> Look at all the leaves falling off the trees. What's this? I think Scout has an idea for a game. Oh, Scout wants to play hide and seek. What a great idea. You count, Buster, whilst everybody else goes and hides. Tony the truck is hiding in the barn. Jesse the Jeep is hiding under that box. Diggly the Digger is going to dig a hole behind those bushes. Quick, Scout! You need to find somewhere to hide before Buster is done counting. But where? Three, two, one. Coming, ready or not. Where is everyone? Buster's going to seek. Is anyone hiding in that barn? Yes! You found Tony the truck, Buster. What about these boxes? Is anyone hiding here? I guess not. Wait a minute. Is that box following you, Buster? That must mean... Yes, you found Jesse the Jeep. Good job! What about those bushes? Anyone hiding there? Look, there's Robin. <gasps> Did you see that? I wonder if... That's right! You found Diggly the Digger! Hooray! That just leaves Scout. I wonder where she could be hiding. Wait, did you notice something funny about that pile of leaves? There, Scout! Well done, Buster! You found all of your friends' hiding places! Wasn't that fun? Buster and Grandpa are visiting the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Look at all the amazing stalls. Wow, Buster really wants to win that teddy bear. He's asking Grandpa if they can play. They get three throws to knock down the cans. Oops, Buster missed. Oh dear, that's all three of his throws. He's having another go. Oh no, he missed again. Buster's upset, but I think Grandpa can teach Buster a thing or two about throwing. The key to hitting what you aim at is to take your time. First, you take a big, long breath. 
Then take aim, crouch low, and throw! Whoa! Grandpa hit the cans! <laughs> now it's Buster's turn. A big, long breath. Take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! <laughs> nice shot, Buster! Now time to go win that teddy bear. Oh dear! Buster didn't take his time. He needs to take a big, long breath, take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! Buster did it! Well done, Buster! And here's his prize! Buster's so proud of himself! Evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun! First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy! Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer. But Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too! They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them! She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Oop! Who's that? It's Mira! Along with Terry! Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira! Uh-oh! Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag! Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first! Off he goes, Mira! Whoops! Mira, you spooked the teacher! <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys! Whoa! It's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. You sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! 
<laughs> there are the eggs. <gasps> oh no! Buster dropped the eggs! And <gasps> Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. <laughs> Mira sprints off to get it. But oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf. Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. It's nap time in Buster's garage. Have a nice sleep, Buster. But who's this? It's a robot bus. Oh no, he's come to cause mischief. He's made himself look like Buster. Oh, hey, Scout. She's practicing her ball skills for the football match. Here comes Robot Bus. I think Scout thinks it's Buster, not a Robot Bus. Oh, dear. Robot Bus has squashed Scout's football. What a nasty thing to do. Poor Scout is very upset. It's Jessie G. She's waiting for the green light. There it is. Oh, that was a close one. It's Robot Bus up to mischief again. Oh no, Jesse thinks that's the real Buster. Oh, little Robin, be careful. Robot Bus isn't very friendly. Oh, poor Robin. Bad Robot Bus. Hey, Digger. He's having fun with his building block. Oh no, Robot Bus has come to join in. He's ruined Digger's pyramid of blocks. Robot Bus is causing chaos. Here's the real Buster the bus. <gasps> Waking from his nap. Oh dear, everyone oh. is angry at you, Buster. They think Robot Bus was you. How can you prove that you didn't do all these mean things? Robot Bus has come to cause more chaos. Quick, Digger, there's a switch on his roof. Oh, look, he's been set to bad. Switch it to good, Digger. Well done, Digger. That seems to have done the trick. It looks like Robot Bus has gone back to normal now. Oh? <laughs> well done, everyone. That was a close one. Robot Bus could have terrorized the whole town. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Oh, wow. Buster's become a rocket. And he's going to space. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Look at Buster go! All right! You did it, Buster! You're in outer space! What a cool place to be! I think Buster wants to go space exploring! Look at that! It's a red planet! Let's go in for a closer look! Hey there, little space buddy. I bet that alien has never seen a bus before. Where are you off to now, Buster? Oh, a yellow planet. It's so beautiful with that huge ring around it. Look at that. Buster's gonna go for a drive around the ring. Let's see how fast you can go. Whoa, that was fun. What's Buster seen now? It's a purple planet. Isn't it huge? Whoa! Round and round the planets Buster goes. Round the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. But wait! Oh no! A blue planet! Buster's going too fast! I think he's going to hit it! Oh, thank goodness! It was only a dream! You're okay, Buster. 
Look, Scout is using her telescope to look at the night sky. Take a look, Buster. There's the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. Hello, little space buddy. Oh, look. It's Buster and Scout. They're playing in the snow. They're having so much fun jumping and sliding around. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Oh, my. What has Scout seen? She looks very excited. I wonder what it is, Buster. Oh, wow! It's a frozen pond. Look at Scout skating on the ice. She's very good, isn't she, Buster? Come on, Buster. Why don't you give it a try? Whoop, careful! Aw, <laughs> poor Buster. The ice is very slippery. It hasn't seemed to stop Scout. Look at her go! I think Buster is scared of the slippy ice. Come on, Buster. There's no need to be afraid. Ha-ha, there you go. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Off Buster goes, skating around the pond. <laughs> He's really going for it. They're both having so much fun skating on the ice. Well done, Buster. Scout seems very impressed. Oh, wow, look at Buster flying through the air. Look, you've cracked the ice. The ice is cracking even more. And it's cracked around Scout. She's trapped. Buster, what are you going to do? If you go any closer, the ice will surely break. Great idea. Mr. Snowman won't break the ice. Please, will you help Mr. Snowman? Look at him go! He's saving Scout! Well done, Mr. Snowman! And nice quick thinking, Buster! I don't think Buster and Scout will be doing any more skating! Thanks, Mr. Snowman! Bye, Buster! Bye, Scout! Hey, Buster! Oh, no! Buster looks really ill! Hello, Scout! I think Scout wants to play! I don't think Buster is well enough to play today. Buster is feeling really ill. Quick, Scout, go and get some help. Oh, poor Buster. It'll be okay. We all get poorly now and then. Oh, look. Scout has brought Amber the ambulance to have a look at Buster. Great idea, Scout. Amber will know what to do to make Buster feel better. It looks like Amber the ambulance is helping Buster back into his garage. Let's see if she can find what's wrong with Buster. Firstly, let's check Buster's tires. Oh, look. This one has lost all of its air. It needs pumping up. There we go. That's better. Buster looks better already. Oh, but you're still a bit under the weather. Ah, uh, yes. Let's check Buster's temperature with a thermometer. It doesn't look good, Buster. It's time for Amber to check Buster's engine. Oh, no! Buster's leaking oil! No wonder he's not feeling well. Amber will fix this with her spanner. It's okay, Buster. It'll be done soon. Just a few more turns. There we go. Great job, Amber! Buster looks like he's back to his normal self again. I think you're well enough to go out and play, Buster. <laughs> he seems very pleased. That's the Buster we know and love. It's time for Amber to head off. Bye, Amber. Thank you for looking after Buster. <laughs> off Scout and Buster go to play. Bye. It's Buster the Bus. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Hmm. But, oh no. It started to rain. <gasps> And there's some scary thunder and lightning. Uh oh. It's a thunderstorm. Oh, look out for Scout, Buster. Oh dear. Buster is so scared of the thunderstorm, he has left Scout behind in the rain. And now her wheel is stuck in the puddle. The lightning is everywhere now. Phew. Buster's safe and sound in the garage. But what about Scout? <gasps> Look, he has seen Scout. 
She really is stuck in that puddle. Will Buster be brave enough to go and help her? Scout's really struggling. Poor Buster. He is so scared of the thunder and lightning, isn't he? You can do it, Buster. Wow, the lightning is so bright and scary. Yay! Go, Buster! He looks very determined to help Scout now. A quick push should do the trick. Yay! Scout's free! Look how happy she is. Well done, Buster. Ooh, the thunder is still very loud, though. Oh, but look! Buster has overcome his fear. Buster and Scout are happily heading back to the garage to get in from the rain. <laughs> that thunder just made both of them jump! Bye, Buster! <laughs> Bye, Scout! Look, it's Buster, Scout, and Diggly! It's Christmas Eve, and they're excited for Santa to arrive with the presents. Time for bed, guys! Santa won't come if you're still wide awake. Uh-oh, it's that sneaky villain Bandit Bus. What's he up to this time? There's Santa, putting the presents under the tree. He must be very busy tonight. Oh no! Bandit is stealing all the presents from under the tree. What a villain he is! Now he's sneaking away. Whoops! Serves Bandit right. What's he seen now? The golden Christmas star. He's going to steal that as well. Oh dear. He's trying to pull it right off the tree. Look! <laughs> Now Bandit is all tangled up. It'll take him ages to get untangled. It's taken all night, but Bandit is finally free. Now he's sneaking away with the presents. Oh, oh poor Buster. All the presents have been stolen. He looks so upset. Bandit really is the worst. But wait, what's this? What's Bandit doing? Look! Bandit is putting all the presents back under the tree. Maybe he's not so mean huh? after all. All the presents are there after all. Buster is so happy. Merry Christmas! Hmm, there's Santa. He doesn't look very pleased with Bandit. But what's this? He puts a present for Bandit under the tree, too. Bandit earned it by giving the presents back. You did the right thing, Bandit. Merry Christmas! <laughs> hey, everyone. What a lovely sunset. I bet Buster has had so much fun in the sun. I wonder what that green slime is. Oh, no. It's dropped on Buster, and I don't think he's noticed. What's happening? Something isn't right. Look at all the gravestones and pumpkins appearing. This is spooky. And what's happened to Buster? I think that green slime has changed Buster into a zombie. That's one big pumpkin digger is carving, and it looks great. Who's that? Oh no, it's Zombie Buster. Digger is really frightened. But I don't think Buster knows what he looks like. Oh, look, it's Scout. Buster is so happy to see her. Oh, no. She seems scared, too. Oh, no. Scout is hiding from Buster, just like Digger did. Poor Buster is so upset and lonely. Come on, Scout. Buster is your friend. I think Scout has an idea. <gasps> she wants Buster to follow her. Do you see now, Buster? You look like a zombie. That's why everyone is scared of you. Don't worry, Buster. Look, the slime has come off on Scout's wheel. I think Scout has a plan. A car wash? Good idea, Scout! Buster always loves a car wash! 
Yay, the green has gone. Buster is no longer a zombie. That was super spooky, Buster. Oh my, Scout, you sound like a werewolf. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. Buster the bus. <laughs> Looks like he's having fun flying that kite. Look out. Oh no, Scout accidentally hit Buster, and now the kite has flown away. I'm sure Scout didn't mean it, Buster. <laughs> Look, what's this? It's a letter addressed to Santa, but it's not been delivered. I think Buster has an idea. He's going to deliver the letter himself to make sure it gets to Santa safely. Oh no, the letter! Phew, thanks for the help, Robin. Off Buster goes. It's a long way to the North Pole where Santa lives. It's cold and tough. Be careful you don't get lost, Buster. Oh dear, almost there, Buster. What's this? Reindeer tracks? Look, it's Santa! Buster made it! Santa's saying hello, Buster. Go and give him the letter. Buster's driven such a long way to deliver it. Let's see what it says. Whoa, it's asking Santa to give Buster a kite for Christmas. It's from Scout. What a loyal friend Scout is. I think Santa knows what to do. Well done for delivering the letter, Buster. It's Christmas morning. Wake up, Buster. Oh, there's nothing under the tree. Maybe Santa was too busy. Wait, there's a present after all. Merry Christmas, Buster. And there it is, just like Scout asked. A kite to replace the one Buster lost. Thank you, Scout. What a thoughtful Christmas gift. It's a sunny day in the school playground. And Buster and Scout are drawing together. Uh-oh, looks like they both want the blue crayon. Buster snatches it. And now Scout is trying to snatch it back. It's given Buster and Bandit a great idea for a game they can all play together. <laughs> Using their imaginations. <laughs> it's cops and robbers. Buster and Bandit are the robbers. And Ash and Scout are the cops trying to catch them. Off they go, the chase is on. Buster and Bandit are splitting up. Oh no, Bandit is cornered. Aha, he's got a plan. Where has he gone? Hang on a second, that fox is moving. Quick, Ash, you can catch him. He's jumping off that ramp. Go, Buster! I wonder if Buster and Bandit are going to escape. They're all getting very close. Whoa, watch out! Buster and Bandit have driven straight into jail. Hooray for the cops, Scout, and Ash. Time to give up the crayon, Buster. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a brilliant game. Now Scout can finally finish off her drawing. Buster and Bandit are free to go. What a fantastic playtime, everyone. Hey there, Buster. What have you got there? An ice cream. <laughs> it sure looks delicious. What's wrong, Buster? Oh, you've got a wobbly tooth. That's not good at all. Huh? I think Buster has been eating too much sugar. Oh dear, that does look painful. Poor Buster. Ah, oh, great idea, Robin. Huh? Buster should go to the dentist to get that bad tooth looked at. Oh, come on, Buster. It's not that scary. That's a tasty looking lollipop. <laughs> but I don't think it's any good for your bad tooth. Ooh, that looks like it really hurt. What about an apple, Buster? Something with a little less sugar in it? Huh? I think Buster's afraid to eat anything now. Oh 
Oh dear, that tooth is still hurting. Poor Buster. He can't stay like this. That's it, Robin. Go and get some help. Look who it is. It's Amber the ambulance. Oh. She'll know what to do. Don't be afraid, Buster. Uh -huh. Amber is here to help. You just have to be brave. Open wide. Come on, Buster. Open up nice and wide so Amber can see your tooth. Let's have a look. That looks very painful, Buster. It looks like you're going to lose your first milk tooth. And then you will get your big teeth. Amber knows what will help. A toothbrush. Squeeze the toothpaste out of the tooth. And brush from side to side. That's it, Buster. All nice and clean. And a quick rinse. It's very important to look after your teeth. Well done, Buster. An ice pack will soothe the pain. That's better. You see, that wasn't so scary, was it? <sighs> Thanks, Amber. Oh, wow, look, Buster. Your oh. wobbly tooth has fallen out. <laughs> That's much better, isn't it? And a new tooth will grow in its place soon. Well done, Buster. You are very... <laughs> it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws, just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab, too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. Oh no! Bandit Bus is stealing from the candy shop. Stop, thief! It's Otis the police car. He's come to investigate the case of the stolen candy. Bandit Bus went that way, Otis. I don't think Otis saw Bandit Bus get away. Great idea, Otis. Follow the trail of candy. I think we know who it will lead to. There he is. Stop, thief. Look, Otis. Some more clues. Keep following the trail. Wow, Bandit Bus is dropping a lot of candy. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, I don't think that candy is for you. Buster loves candy. Oh, dear, the trail of candy has led straight to Buster the bus. Otis must think that Buster is the thief. You've made a mistake, Otis. Buster is innocent. Poor Buster, what are you going to do? Otis is putting Buster in jail. Oh, Buster. Oh, here comes Scout. Maybe Scout can help Buster get out of jail. Oh. You have to help Buster, Scout. Prove he's innocent. Oh. <gasps> That's right, Scout. <gasps> Follow the trail of candy to find the truth. Oh. Scout the detective is on the case. <gasps> there he is. Bandit Bus caught red-handed stealing from the toy shop. You're going down this time, Bandit Bus. Stop right there, in the name of the law. You're under arrest. It's time to put things right and get Buster out of jail. Come on out, Buster, you're innocent. And in goes Bandit the Bus. Thanks, Scout, you're a great detective. If it wasn't for you, Buster would still be locked up. 
I'm sorry, Bandit Bus, but you had it coming. Stealing is against the law. Well done, Otis. Bye, Buster Bandit. and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is ah. so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. <laughs> but first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. Huh. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Hmm. Ah. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark <laughs> wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> ah. Oh. Huh? But then, hmm. I came face to face with a dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second. That's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear. Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes, oh. pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks. Yarm <laughs> OK, ah. the pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth mm. out with a little help from a friendly little bee. <laughs> we took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> And they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. It's Buster the bus. I wonder what he's up to today. An Easter egg hunt. There's one Easter egg. Nice work, Buster. There's another. That's two. And three, four, five. So many. Whoa, that's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster. Mmm, they look yummy. Buster loves chocolate eggs. Tasty! Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants. Good morning, Buster. Oh dear, Buster looks very unwell. He has a tummy ache. I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs. Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay. He looks really sick. <laughs> Poor Buster. Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance. She'll be able to help. There's Amber. She always knows how to make little buses feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Yup, Buster is sick all right. But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help. Open wide, Buster. That'll make you feel better. But that's not all. If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple. There, that'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy. The next day, Buster is feeling much better. Oh, hey, it's Diggly the Digger. What's Diggly got there? 
Uh-oh. I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter. <laughs> it's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team, though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way, but Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear, they can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh! Off they go! <laughs> That's more like it! Now it's a real fun snowball fight! It's much better with teamwork! <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is! Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend Scout! What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car! Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom! Look at it go! Now Scout wants a go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. <laughs> oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. Hey there, Buster. That's a great looking shark poster oh. you've got there. Oh, Buster's looking really tired. I wonder what he'll dream about. What's this? Fins? Coral? Oh, wow, Buster! I think you're under the sea! Look at Buster go! The ocean is his new playground! Isn't it beautiful? Go for it, Buster! Jump into the sky! This is so much fun! Wait, what's that? It's a huge fish! Quick, Buster, hide! Oh, look, he's not big at all. He's tiny. It's okay, Buster. Nothing to worry about. But what's this? It's Sham the Shark. 
Look at all those sharp teeth. Hide, Buster, quit. <gasps> oh no, Buster has spun around the little fish and now he's heading right for the shark. Sham the shark seems very keen to make friends, but it looks like everyone is scared of him. Quick, little fish, hide next to Buster. Wait a minute, the shark looks sad, really sad. You know, Buster, I think that Sham is lonely. He was just being friendly. He doesn't have any friends. That's right, Buster. Go and say hello to him. See? He just wants someone to play with. Buster and Sham are having so much fun. The ocean is a great place to play chase and to make new friends. Look at them go. Oh, Buster's waking up. It was only a dream. You don't have any fins now, Buster. You're back to being a bus again. What a lovely underwater adventure. <laughs> it's Buster and Robin. Buster looks like he's enjoying that bubblegum a lot. What's that? A message in a bottle. I wonder what it is. Whoa! It's a treasure map. X marks the spot. Buster and Robin are going to find the buried treasure. Now which way should they go? There's the jetty. And look! There's the desert island. They found it. Uh-oh. The water is full of sharks. They'll need to find a safe way across. <laughs> Look, it's Katrina, the steamboat. She's stuck on the beach. She could use a push back into the water. That's it, Buster. Well done. Great. Katrina is back on the water. But oh dear, there's a hole. Katrina could sink if someone doesn't fix it. I think Buster has a plan. I wonder what he's doing with the bubble gum. Oh! He's using the bubble gum to block up the hole. Very clever, Buster. The sharks won't catch them now. Next stop, the desert island. Great! Buster's arrived on the island. Now he just needs to find the treasure. It's around here somewhere. There! X marks the spot. Buster's digging down. Wow! A treasure chest! Look! A coin! I wonder what Buster will use it for. Look! Diggly is working on Katrina, fixing up her leak. Oh! Buster is using the coin to pay Diggly. He's helping Katrina get fixed to say thank you to his new friend. What a fun adventure! Daddy Bus and Buster are driving across the hills. Oh, look! It's a baby deer! What's it running from? Huh? It's Trax in the train! Oh, no! What's wrong? Traxon can't stop! Quick! Buster and Daddy Bus to the rescue! Oh no, he's speeding up. Daddy Bus is calling Otis the police car. This is an emergency. Ah, there's a branch on the tracks. Daddy Bus swoops in and moves it. Hooray! Well done, Daddy Bus. Looks like the tracks change directions up ahead. Daddy Bus and Buster are pulling the levers to change the direction of the tracks. But oh no, Terry is crossing the tracks. Change them, quick! That was close. Now Traxon is going round and round. He's getting dizzy. Oh no, watch out! Phew! Daddy was just in time. Looks like Buster has a plan. They need to direct Traxon towards the hill. The hill is slowing him down.
He stopped! Hooray! Go, Buster! <laughs> Otis has arrived on the scene. This doesn't look like an emergency. Oops. I wonder what Buster and Digger are doing. <laughs> wow, who painted that? Looks like you guys want some ice cream. <gasps> Digger, <laughs> that is one big ice cream cone. Oh look, here comes Iggy, the ice cream truck. Buster and Digger want Iggy to help make them the giant ice cream. Now let's see. Oh, cherries. Mmm, that's a delicious flavor. Let's pick that. Wow, look at all that ice cream. Right, next we need a blue ice cream. Blueberries? Perfect! <laughs> That is looking so good, Buster! Okay, yellow next. Bananas, good choice! <laughs> you want more? Okay, this has to be the last flavor, otherwise it will be too big. Apple it is. This is going to be one tasty ice cream. <laughs> one last effort, Iggy. That ice cream looks quite wobbly. Steady as you go, Digger. Robin has come to get Scout so that she can find out what Buster and Digger have made for her birthday. You better follow Robin, Scout. Happy birthday, Scout! <laughs> That is the biggest ice cream I have ever seen! Oh no, Digger! Watch out, Scout! That was close. <laughs> Blow the candle out, Scout. Now you can all tuck into the ice cream. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Buster, Bandit, and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still <laughs> wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this nightlight will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh look, it's space rocket Buster. Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space. <laughs> Check it out. There's Earth. They're going to race to it. Ready, steady, go. Buster is in the lead. Oh no, Bandit knocked him off course. Ah, oh, now Buster's far behind. How can he zoom back ahead? Aha. Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout! Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? <gasps> Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout. Hmm, they have to stop him. They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit. That'll teach him. And the race is back on. Buster and Scout are neck and neck. Nearly there. Space Rocket Buster wins 
the race! Way to go! Uh-oh! Busted! Again! Grandpa heard them playing. That was a lot of fun. But now it really is time to go to bed. Good night, everyone. Hey there, Buster. Hey, little Robin. That's right, Buster. Look both ways before crossing the tracks. Whoa! That was a close one! Wasn't Suki the train looking where she was going? There's Otis the police car. Something must be wrong. Quick, Buster. Maybe you can help. Oh, no! Suki has fallen asleep on the job. If someone doesn't stop her, who knows where she'll end up? What are we going to do? Wait, I think Buster has an idea. A rope? Good thinking, Buster. You can use that to slow Suki down. Nice catch, Robin. That's it. Pull! You can do it. Oh, no, the rope snapped. Suki is still out of control. I think she's going faster now. You've got to catch up with her, quick! Oh, what's Buster seeing now? Oh dear, it's Digger. Suki is heading right towards him and he hasn't even noticed. Another track, it goes up a hill too. Look out, Buster. Phew, that was close. Well ducked, Buster. You need to change the tracks, Buster, so Suki goes up the hill. Hurry, Buster. You can do it. Almost there. Yes, just in time. Well done, Buster. You changed the track. Suki is heading up a steep hill. That'll slow her down. There. At last, she stopped safely. I think Suki is waking up. Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Well done, Buster. You helped Otis and saved the day. Here comes Buster the bus and Terry Tractor. It looks like they're about to have a race. Buster looks very confident, doesn't he? Terry doesn't seem too impressed. I wonder who's going to win. Here we go. Ready, set, go! And they're away. Buster races into the lead. Come on, Terry, you can do it. I don't think Terry is as fast as Buster. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, cheeky Buster. He's showing off. Poor Terry. Buster sure is confident that he's going to win. You're not at the finish line yet, Buster. Keep going, Terry. You still have a chance. Oh, Buster, don't tease Terry. You're not being very nice. Go on, Terry. You'll show Buster that you don't just need speed to win a race. Buster is really far ahead now. Look at him zooming through all the muddy puddles. Oh, Buster, I know it's hot, but you can't be tired. You haven't finished the race. Look over there, it's an apple tree. I think Buster is going to take a nap in the shade. Cheeky Buster, you're getting a bit too confident, aren't you? Oh dear, Buster has fallen asleep. And look who it is, Terry Tractor. He's managed to overtake Buster. Oh, silly Buster, you've slept for too long. <gasps> Off he races towards the finish line. I'm not sure he's going to like what he finds. Nearly there, Buster. But where's Terry? Haha, <laughs> there he is. <gasps> Terry crossed the line first. <laughs> silly Buster, you shouldn't have slept for so long. And you shouldn't have been such a show-off because it goes to show slow and steady wins the race. Hmm. Bye, Buster. Bye, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! It's time for the big race. Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too. Ready, steady, go! And they're off. Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. 
Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast! Look out! Scout is speeding ahead! Scout's taking the lead! Uh-oh! A low bridge! Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around! Buster and Diggly have reached a river! How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge! It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater. But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit's skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice, tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats! How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait, not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off! <laughs> this is much more fun! Oh no! The boat wasn't tied to the dock! The river is carrying Buster away! Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer! Daddy Bus to the rescue! Uh-oh! That boat has a leak! He needs to find another way! Buster is floating even further down the river. Careful, Daddy Bus. What's Buster going to do? Oh, there's a bridge. Buster is grabbing on. Phew. Oh no, the pole broke off. Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out! Uh-oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working! Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped! And look, a waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it. Go, Buster! Nice throw. Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's much more relaxing. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. 
Quick! Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops! There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew! That was lucky! <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased! Good job, Buster and Grandpa! <laughs> Buster the bus has come out to play! Watch out for that red paint, Buster! Oh, Buster's driven right through it! Look, Buster! You've painted some red lines with your tires! <laughs> I think Buster's had an idea! Nice work! You've painted a circle. A circle is round. Huh? It's the same shape as your wheel, Buster. Now you've colored the circle in, Buster. <laughs> it's a red circle. Oh. oh, hey, Scout. Come and join the fun. We're learning shapes. What shape is Scout painting? It's a square. A blue square. A square has four equal sides. <laughs> hey there, Digger. Digger has come to paint shapes with Buster and Scout. <laughs> what shape will Digger paint? Digger isn't quite as fast as Buster and Scout. It's okay, Digger will be finished soon. It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. <laughs> a yellow triangle. <laughs> Digger took so long to paint a shape that Buster and Scout have fallen asleep. Wake up, you two. What other shapes can we draw? A green rectangle. Great work, Buster. A gold star. That looks fantastic, Scout. And a lovely pink heart. Digger is painting a diamond. Wow, look at all the colors go. It's a wonderful rainbow diamond. So many different colored shapes. Learning the shapes was so much fun. We made a square, circle, triangle, star, heart, rectangle, and a diamond. Well done, everyone. It's sports day at Buster School. How exciting. First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go. Go Buster. He's the winner. Hooray. That was easy. Buster is the fastest in school. Next up, it's the high jump. Scouts up first. Scoot, scoot. Wow, that was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump. Off he goes. Oops! Don't worry, Buster. He doesn't look very happy. It's the egg and spoon race next. Get ready and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun. Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. 
It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first. Well done, everyone. What a brilliant day. Buster is at Daddy's house today. Oh, look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. It's going to be great. But first, they need to get ready. Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Hmm. Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Everything else, check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday for show and tell. Wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. Good night, Buster. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. And now he's going to be late for school. Quick, they've got to get everything ready. Huh? What does Buster need? Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Pencil case and school book, check. But what is he missing? The ruler. Aha, there it is. It's time to head off for school. Wait a second, Buster forgot his shark tooth. <gasps> quick, Buster, quick. Shark tooth, check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. All his friends are already at school and he's going to be late. Oh no! Phew, he did it, just in time. What a crazy morning. Go Buster! Hey there, Buster. Oh, you're looking a little tired. Buster's fallen asleep. And what's this? Whiskers, a button nose, and ears? It's Easter Bunny Buster. Looking good. I think he likes his new bunny tail. Wonder where he's off to. Off to do some Easter bunny errands, I hope. Oh, what's this? It's a burrow in the side of that hill. I wonder where this leads. Here he comes out the other side. Oh, look, Terry Tractor is having a nap. Wow, Easter bunny Buster has given Terry a colorful Easter egg. Off he goes to spread more Easter joy. I wonder where this burrow leads. Over here, Bunny Buster. Robin is fast asleep. Time to leave another surprise Easter egg for when Robin wakes up. Back into another burrow he goes. Who's this? It's Jessie the Jeep. Aw, she's sleeping. Easter Bunny Buster has left another egg for her when she wakes up. Such a busy little Easter Bunny Buster. These eggs won't deliver themselves. I wonder who else Bunny Buster has an egg for. It's Digger the Excavator. Quiet, Buster. Try not to wake him. <laughs> There's an egg in Digger's bucket. Great idea, Bunny Buster. Oh dear, I think Easter Bunny Buster is feeling a little tired. Wake up, Buster. 
Hmm? Oh, huh? Easter Bunny Buster was all huh? a dream. What a shame <laughs> the eggs weren't real. But what's this? It's an Easter egg! Oh, wow! The real Easter Bunny has left Buster an Easter egg. What a lucky little bus. <laughs> It's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow! A drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. There. Now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear, they frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud oh. noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. <laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look! He's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone get some yummy Easter eggs. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck. Buster is waving hello. 
At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends.